right guys now let's continue doing logarithmic differentiation and in this case we'll go a little uh, more deeper into the concept now what if i have a question which says y is equal to log of uh, let's say sine of x to the power uh, x plus let's say tan x to the power sine inverse of x now i have two functions right so i i simply know a formula in in log is log of a b i know this formula as log of a plus log of b i know this if log of a by b is there i can write log of a minus log of b yes correct yep very simple now if i have log of a to the power b that is b log a and i have this have you seen a formula in log which says log of log of uh, a plus b we don't have anything like this so if i take log on both sides let's say let's assume log of y is equal to log of right sine x to the power x plus a uh, tan x to the whole power sine inverse of x so what i'm trying to do taking log on both sides but we don't have any formula looking like log of a plus b because we don't have a formula like that. It means I cannot apply log on both sides for this kind of problem. So what do we do? How do you get these functions, these functions down so that I can use product rule and differentiate? There's a whole problem. So I can say if it is a single function, if it is only one like this, then I can take log on both sides, it becomes easier. I can use the third formula, right? But if I have two functions and both of them have something on the head, I have to use log to get this down, but I don't have any formula like this, log of this plus this, nothing to do. So what we do is a little different way solving this problem. So, okay, so that's it. If you know this, you're done with the complete uh, concept of log differentiation. What I do is I take this guy separately and I write this as u is equal to sine x to the power x and I'll take this guy as v is equal to tan x to the whole power sine inverse of x what happens to my question the question looks like y is equal to u plus v because this guy is u and this guy is v so how do you differentiate this guy very simple dy by dx would become du by dx plus dv by dx and that's it is that the answer exactly yes that's the answer but who is du by dx that we need to find out how will i get that for that i'll go back to this equation i'll write u is equal to sine of x to the whole power x and find du by dx with this function now now i can use log on both sides that looks like log of u is equal to log of sine x to the whole power x that looks like log of u is equal to x log sine x and see what happens now so one by u you know du by dx is what i have and this is product rule so x into d by dx of log sine x yep plus log sine x into d by dx of x so what happens here so i get one by u into du by dx is uh, this guy is x into one by sine x i'm differentiating log is one by sine x into differentiation of sine x is cos x i'll write this plus log sine x into how do you differentiate x that is one that's it so is that my du by dx still I don't want this guy. So du by dx is put this u out there. So u into, I can write this as cot x, x cot x plus log sine x. And that's it. Now who is u? u is my question back. So I can write du by dx is uh, sine of x to the whole power x into x cot x plus log sine x. And that's it. Now see. I got du by dx. This part is done. How do we get dv by dx? Same thing. Let me take this guy separately, differentiate this guy, find dv by dx. Both the answers, put them here and add them. That's your answer. Let's say, let's take this guy that is dv by dx, which is v is equal to tan of x to the whole power sine inverse of x. Now, let me differentiate this. I can take log on both sides now. Log of v is equal to log of tan x to the whole power sine inverse of x and what happens here this is 1 by v you know dv by dx this is what i'm looking for and i can write sine inverse of x i'm not differentiating let's let's keep it only log of v let me write this guy 
as sine inverse of x using log tan x. All right? Good. Now let me differentiate. That becomes 1 by v into dv by dx. Now this is uv rule. So I can write this as what? Sine inverse of x and differentiation of this guy. d by dx of log tan x. All right? Uh, plus log tan x into d by dx of sine inverse of x. So let's solve this. We have a little small space, so let's manage 1 by v into dv by dx is equal to sine inverse of x. How do you differentiate log tan x? That is 1 by tan x into secant squared x. All right? Yes. So I can write sine inverse of x into 1 by tan x into secant squared x. Yes. Then you have a plus log tan x. And how do you differentiate this guy? That is 1 by root of 1 minus x squared. So what's left out? I'm just looking for dv by dx. So can I write dv by dx here and put v on the other side? And what is left out here? That is sine inverse of x into secant squared x by tan x. Yes, plus log tan x in divided by root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, this is what we have. So who's v? V is my question back again. So I can get dv by dx is what? dv by dx is tan x to the power sine inverse of x into this guy. That is sine inverse of x into secant squared x by tan x plus log uh, tan x divided by root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, this is dv by dx and this is dv by dx. And what is my complete answer? Take these guys, substitute back here. So dy by dx was my answer, and that is du by dx. That should be nothing but sine x to the power x into x cot x plus log sine x. Yes. All right, that is du by dx. This plus comes here, plus. And I have dv by dx, that is tan x to the power sine inverse of x into what is that that is sine inverse of x into secant squared x by tan x so what i have plus log plus log tan x divided by root of one minus x squared okay that's your answer very simple all right so what we learned here is for all i have two functions both have powers as another function i got to get them down I cannot use log on both sides because I don't have a formula of log of a plus b. So what I do is I take this guy separate. I take this guy separate. Let this be u is equal to this function. v is equal to this function. So my question becomes v y is equal to u plus v. I differentiate this guy. I get this. Now what I have to do is find du by dx and du by dx. This I can do by just taking these two functions separately, applying log separately, get the answer du by dx and du by dx, get that answer, substitute here. That's all about it. Okay, pretty easy. Try doing a couple of problems. We are not using anything new, or new functions, or new formulas, or new methods. It's all the same chain rule, same product rule, same quotient rule, everything else is same. Except for if at all I have a function like this, how to get it down? Use log on both sides. That's it.